Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you uh, is a wooden block that I've made, which is what I use that helps me in the preparation process of the stainless steel plates when I go to sand them. If you'll notice, I took a 2x4, alright, and in the bottom here, I've got four pan head screws. They're very shallow, they're very flat, okay, they don't have very tall heads on them at all and they are screwed into the wood just far enough to create a gap that allows me to take my plates and slide them in place and it holds it quite snug. I take this 2x4 and I clamp it in my vise at an angle probably about like that okay about 30 degrees facing me and then I take my belt sander and just go right against the surface of this plate pretty close to the to the heads of the screws and then when I need to get the other side of the plate all I have to do is take take another plate to show you and then flip it over like that get the other side and then do the same for the other side and I get nice nice uh, scoring patterns going this going lengthwise along the plates which uh, is what I desire in the finished product. So this makes my life a lot easier. It will make your life a lot easier too if you create one of these. Uh, once the cell is together, oh, one last thing. I uh, picked up a, a new container at, of course, Walmart. It was about $6. It has four latches with two catches on each of the four latches. So it has eight tie down points, two on each side of this container with a neoprene gasket underneath the lid that creates a very tight seal in this tank. This is going to be a great tank to experiment with uh, that's going to allow me to capture the gas, measure the gas output and just put together quick models to, to test uh, various ideas that I want to put together and, uh, s and validate whether or not they work. One of the things that I'm going to be doing, let me just pause for a moment here. Once again, one of the things that I'm going to be doing in my next phase of experimentation is playing around with pulsed width, pulsed width modulation effects on the electrolyzer cell as well as um, possibly in inducing magnetic fields into the cell to see if what effect that has, if any. Uh, some have attempted to discourage me from it, but I feel compelled to try it because uh, there are some ideas that I believe that I can, uh, uh, that, that I just have to try and see for myself. And that's basically what this is all about. We are experimenting. So <laughs> this device right here is something that I started to create years and years ago. Uh, and it is comprised of two solid copper coils. These copper coils uh, are 14 gauge Kapton insulated solid copper coils. I got them from a place of employment as scrap that was part of a project that an engineer <laughs> that an engineer had, had conjured up he was going to reinvent the brushless DC electric motor on a grand scale and <laughs> he was either a genius or a crackpot I, I don't know which but uh, I, it's a very fine line with um, intelligent people so what does that make me? I don't know a, a genius or a crackpot? <laughs> anyway um, this jig that I created with the help of uh, one of my neighbors <coughs> was intended to create a pulsed magnetic field between these two points right here. It's very, I'm gonna, I, you know, I want to lift this in front of the camera, but this thing weighs about 70 pounds, this, this whole assembly. And it's not really rigidly assembled, so I'm just going to leave it right here for you to see. But um, you can get a pretty good look at this. I'll put, yeah, there you go. You can see, you can see how the... Um, steel billets taper to smaller surfaces to concentrate the magnetic lines of flux between these two points and what I had intended to do was create ferrite magnets uh, for my other perpetual motion over unity projects but 
you know it's still such a long shot that eh, it's not number one on my priority list so these pieces just come apart <coughs> and the coils come out and I'll probably end up scrapping the steel although I don't know you know I always hold out the hope that I might someday return to that project we'll see but anyway I have these two enormous electromagnetic coils uh, one of them I will be using immediately as a demagnetizer for the plates and I have a, a second variac here that I got from that same job and if you look closely this is a superior electric variac identical to the ones that you see at the beginning of Back to the Future when Marty's turning up his amplifier pretty cool um, I'll be using that to run the metal plates through an AC field in the center of the coil to demagnetize the plates before they go into final assembly of the new electrolyzer tank. Lastly, I've got a uh, ocean spray bottle the, that I cut off the top of. It is rectangular in shape and it is ideal for creating a bath with the citrus surf to just let, let my plates sit in there for a while and take them out after they've been treated to uh, become part of the final assembly. So, that's it. Uh, next step is I have five plates that need to be cut by the sheet metal shop and cut to size and then I will go through the sanding process with my with my block. I still need to pick up uh, a 15 inch belt for my belt sander with 36 grit on it. Aluminum oxide grit, I'm told, holds up extremely well. And then uh, we'll go through the passivation process in the citrus surf, demagnetize, and then assemble the stacks together with the um, acrylic, clear acrylic sides to create the columns with the adhesive. I was also uh, given a tube of urethane window adhesive which is used in automotive applications. I'm told that works pretty well and from what I have found urethane holds up very well in the in the electrolyzer tanks. That's it for now. Um, I will be continuing to do some work and uh, hopefully in the next video series I will show you the uh, the process that I go through for preparing the plates for final assembly and we'll go into final assembly again of the uh, plate stack and put it together in a in a tank and hopefully produce some astonishing results that exceed what I've done so far. Zero Fossil Fuel signing out for now. Please keep experimenting and please be safe. Thank you.